I was caught in a very serious accident in 2015. I'm a perfectionist and often I will lead myself into a very complicated situation. Due to my personality, I feel lonely most of the time. I feel very small. I couldn't feel that I'm important in this world. I always feel like hiding myself in my room. I couldn't concentrate when I want to study. So when I was taking my test in my final year, I couldn't get high marks. Due to that, my depression got worse. I always heard little voices in my head. This little voice always tell me that I am not worthy. I shouldn't stay alive. When I was in that period, I always want to study the Bible, but I couldn't concentrate whenever I opened the book. I feel very scared. I tried to pray against the small voices, but I couldn't concentrate. When I was trying to explain my situation to my parents, I couldn't express in words. I feel helpless. After drowning myself for one month in the small voices, I succumbed myself into the small voices and ended up, I fell down from 8th floor of my hostel. When I fell down from 8th floor, I was still conscious and I heard the small voices keep on telling me that I shouldn't stay alive. But I pray that God will not take my life. Somebody really came to me and sent me to the hospital. After I signed the consent form, I was put into sleep. When I woke up, it was 10 days later. I saw that there is a lot of needles on my body. There is an external pin on my pelvic bone. My left leg was in bandage and then I couldn't move my body at all. I was so painful until the doctor needs to give me injection of morphine. After the accident, I couldn't walk for 8 months. My pelvic was fractured. It was open book fracture. My lungs were collapsed. Both of my thighs were broken. My feet were broken. The wound on my left thigh was infected by MRSA bacteria. It is a life-threatening bacteria. The doctor advised us to do the operation immediately. But my father do not really want to risk my life. So my father continuously prayed for me and we finally found a cure for the MRSA. In three days time, my wound dried up miraculously. The small voices in my head still trying to condemn me, trying to put me down. But I tell myself that I must recover from my pain. God tells me that there is no impossible in Him. Everything is possible with God and I recovered in two years' time. I'm very grateful to the Samaritan that God sent into my life. I do not know them and they helped me without hoping any return from me. After the accident, God makes me a better person and I believe that nothing will last forever except God's Word. His words is the only thing that keep me stronger and stronger day by day. Even though it's very painful, but I believe that the season of pain and suffering will not last forever. I'm very grateful and thankful that God saved my life. I can proudly say that I am His living testimony.